Welcome to Inspiration Retreats with Shari. I'm your host, Dr. Shari, and God has blessed us with yet another day. It is April the 17th, 2015, and like I said, God has blessed us with another day. We just have to give Him glory because He is the one who is keeping us and not we ourselves. And so, He has another special message for you this day, and it is entitled, Expectation. But before we get into it, let's pray. Most gracious and all wise God, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you because you are sovereign. Father God, we thank you because your love is just so it's so vast that we can't even comprehend it. Lord, we just thank you because you do shower your love on us every day. Lord, we just thank you for your son Jesus. And it's in his name I pray. Father God, I ask you to change these clay lips to a fit vessel for your use. Lord, let your people hear your word. And Lord, right now, take away anything that I would say and let it only be what you would say. Father God, open up our hearts so that we can receive your precious word so we can live it out in our lives each and every day. Lord, we just love you and we thank you and we magnify your holy name. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, beloved, thank you for tuning in. It is just such a pleasure to um, have you have me come into your home or to your um, space, wherever you are. You are actually tuning in to listen to God's Word. And I don't take it lightly that you actually would take the time so that we could share this time together. So, because God's Word is the most precious, let's jump right into it. He has us in Philippians again this week and in the first chapter. But we're going to focus in on verse 19 and 20. And so, read it along with me. Grab your Bible. Grab your Bible and read it along with me. Philippians chapter 1, verses 19 and 20. And it reads, For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, according to my earnest expectation, and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. God's word for you this day, the message is entitled, Expectation. Expectation. Expectation is when you're looking forward to something. You're um, thinking about, well, what could it be? You can either expect something to be good, or you can expect for it to be bad. But there is expectation. That's how you get on the edge of your seat waiting in expectation. You're expecting something. You're looking forward to it happening. And it's just a great illustration of this. Today, actually, I got a certified letter in the mail. And so, the expectation is it's a certified letter. Number one, you know that's important. But number two, it's like, ooh, where is it coming from? Who is this sending me in a certified letter? Then the next thought is, I guess being in this fallen world, I think, oh, it must be something bad if they're sending a certified letter. But praise be to God, it was actually something good. But it's that expectation. You're looking forward to something. You're surprised by it. But then you're looking forward to, well, what could it be? God is pressing on our hearts today to expect goodness from Him. We have everything we need in His Holy Word. And He's saying, expect good. Actually, this is the good news. Expect to hear good news every day. The good news is Jesus Christ. As long as, like Paul was saying here, as long as we put Him first, as long as we put our focus on Him, knowing that we can't do anything by ourselves or in ourselves or of ourselves, that it's only Jesus Christ. And so as long as you have Him, and then having that boldness to be able to speak. Paul, at the time he wrote this, he was actually in jail in Rome. And he, wasn't, he didn't know if he was going to live or die. He didn't know if he was going to be set free or be executed. And so having that expectation, that expectation that Jesus Christ, no matter what, Jesus has you. And having that hope, that hope of glory, that hope of Jesus, 
Jesus Christ, that's when you just, you can sit back and rest. Not rest in the fact that, oh, I'm just lounging around, but rest in Jesus. So no matter what situation or circumstance, you know that salvation has come to you. In this case, for Paul, salvation was, he wanted to be saved from um, execution. But no matter how it went, he was still all right with it because either way it went, he knew that Jesus had him. That's the assurance. That's the expectation. That's the confidence in expectation that Jesus Christ is the good news. He has good news. And all the days of our lives, as we have him, as we rest in him, then we actually have good news. It is just it is just a, a different place, a different state of being when that you know that, okay, no, surely no one really wants to die, but when you are ready for death, that means that you can live fully this life for God. Whatever He tells us to do, we want to be bold soldiers, bold soldiers speaking forth on the behalf of, half of Jesus Christ, knowing that it's not what we're saying, but what the Holy Spirit is giving us to say, that we can speak with confidence that Jesus, He is our all in all. If you do not know Jesus this day, have an expectation of good in your life. The good is Jesus Christ. Expect good news. Actually, it's, it's coming to you right now. The good news of Jesus Christ, that He came from heaven. He's actually part of the Godhead. He is God. He came to this earth so that He could settle a sin debt that was created by man, but filled in the gap for us so that we can have reconciliation with the Father, so that salvation, we can be snatched out of the pit of hell and placed in heavenly places because of Him. We're not only just snatched out of hell, but we're put in heavenly places and then made to be joint heirs with Jesus Christ. So everything that Jesus Christ has, we have because we are now in Him. When we're in Him, that's the good news right there. That He came, He bled, He died, He suffered for us. But on the third day, He rose with all power. He had power from the beginning of time. And He still has power. But He took death, hell, and the grave back. So He snatched us from that. All you have to do is believe in Him. That's the good news. The good news of the gospel. And it's so simple that... You can rest in it every day. You can rest in knowing that Jesus, He is your Savior, He is your Sustainer, and all we have to do is have that expectation of good. Expecting Jesus to show up on the scene, no matter what circumstance or situation in life we go through. He is our everything. He is Everything from our healer to our provider. He's even our righteousness. He is everything. All you have to do is receive Him this day. Receive Him. This is the best day for you to give your life to Jesus. He's already He's waiting. He's waiting for you now. He has given His life so that you can have life more abundantly. Aren't you ready to live that abundant life, a life free of, well, stress and chaos. Although there are stresses in this life, we're not living this life to this part only. That is only this earth realm. Once you have Jesus, He's the eternal God. And so you look forward, you expect to live eternally with Him. Say this prayer with me and mean it from your heart. Give your heart to Jesus. Expect Him to do great things with it. And then hope, resting with that hope, that's trusting God to do what He has promised that He will do. And He promised us that He would never leave us nor forsake us. 
This is your day. Accept Jesus and expect good in your life. Pray with me. Dear Father, I am a sinner in need of a Savior. And I recognize and realize and know that only Jesus can save me. I believe that He is your Son, that He died on a cross, and He rose on the third day. His resurrection power gave me new life. And I accept Him this day as my Savior. I ask you to come into my heart. Change me. Change me from everything that I've done wrong and clean me totally by His precious blood and keep me every day of my life. I expect good because I am in Jesus now. I accept Him. I surrender. In Jesus' name, amen. If you just said that prayer with me and you meant it from your heart, you said it with your lips, but you meant it from your heart, God, He heard you, and now you can expect good. Expect the good news. Share the good news of Jesus Christ. I encourage you, get into a great Bible teaching, Bible believing church so that you can learn more about God's Word and also the principles of God's Word so that you can live it out daily. If you said that prayer with me, please send me an email at shari at inspirationretreats.com so I can praise God along with you that now you are part of the family. That's what this is all about. So that souls, souls, souls are precious to God. You are precious to God. Every bit of you. And so all you have to do is continue to love God because He surely loves you and then expect to live an, an abundant life. God bless you and heaven smile on you.